As we went to break, we talked about uh, a couple of players, and we'll call these guys household names. Lorenzo Kane, Gold Glover, All-Star, over a decade in the Grande Ligas, and Lorenzo Kane has decided to call it a wrap, as has Mitch Moreland, a World Series champ, a prolific left-handed bat, had a big impact with no fewer than three teams, including winning a World Series title with the Red Sox in 2000. These guys had great careers, man. I sure mean, it's did. terrific. You play that long in the big leagues, that's pretty special. They both won World Series. Uh, that's something to look back on and, and go, wow, that was, that was pretty impressive. When you consider how few people get that opportunity, yeah, and you walk out as a, a named player that people that's remember, right. That's pretty impressive. And both of those guys uh, have this in common. Neither one of them were blue chip star prospects, right? They were right. all kind of guys that played their way into stardom because Mitch Moreland was a 17th rounder out of Mississippi State. Remember, he debuted really young with the Rangers. Yeah. Uh, Lorenzo Kane never even played baseball until yeah. later in his high school. I yeah, think like a junior in junior, high school. Junior in high school, I believe it is. That's yeah. amazing. And both of them ended up as star players. Both of them uh, leave the game as players, as handsomely compensated athletes. Yes. And now they can do whatever they want with the rest of their lives. And I think both these guys will, will impact the sport at, at the youth level. They'll probably coach. They'll probably be around their kids, you know, whatever it might be. As things come through, we're not done hearing about them. They may not be sitting on a TV set like we're doing right now. Yeah. But they will have an impact on the sport.